I'm going to show you the awesome power of WP Click Store to create your very own commission generating ClickBank affiliate store in just minutes. So I've installed WordPress and I've installed the WP Click Store theme. Now I'm going to go in, set some options, and add some products so you can see just how easy and how powerful this is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the layout to do a sidebar on the right hand side. Now there are a lot of options that I'm not going to cover here because I just want to show you real quickly how fast and easy this is. I'm going to upload a custom header. But that said, understand that there are a ton of different things that you can do to customize your store and to make it absolutely unique and exactly the way that you want it. So I'm just going to cover some of the main stuff for you right here. Now with the header, I chose to upload a header image, but depending on what version of the software you get, you will have options to actually create them right inside the software. And the same thing with the skin. I'm going to actually choose the orange skin for my store. And there are a lot of other settings I can set here as well. Depending on the version of the software, you'll have uh, more or fewer skin choices. And I can change the whole look and feel of my store with just one click by changing that. Now the featured content area is a little message area at the very top of the store right below the menu that's going to tell people a little bit about my store. And so I want to add a custom featured um, area here. Now you can use text, you can use an image, um, and you can also disable it if you choose not to use it at all. So it's totally up to you. I'm choosing to use an image. And as long as I check this box, my featured area will appear. And so that is all I need to do to actually configure the outside of my store. Now I want to go in and start actually adding some products. So I'm going to go right in here into categories. And I'm going to add a couple of different categories like, uh, let's see, fitness. And this is going to be one of my product categories. And I'm going to use internet marketing. And then I think we'll also use, let's see, I think we'll also use, let's go with maybe recipes or with food. Let's go with food. And then I think I'll also create a category for green products. And you can use whatever categories you want whatever exists on ClickBank. I'm going to create these categories so when I create the posts, I can put them right in there. Then I'm going to go into Add New Post. And this is where it gets really exciting and really powerful. Because when you go to Add a New Post, you don't even need to enter the title. You don't need to enter any content. All you need to do is go down here. You can choose whether the post is going to be featured and what display order it's going to come in. And then you can go ahead and right here, this is going to search the ClickBank Marketplace for me. So I had, uh, let's see, health and fitness was one. And I can choose a subcategory, but in this case, I'm just going to click search. And it's going to show you all the products. It's going to show you their gravity, which is how well it sells, and the amount of commission that you make. And you can select and put one in, the, in your store just like that. If you don't like any of these products or you just want to add even more, you can go click on next 10 and it'll show you the next 10 in the marketplace. All right, so let's say we want to go with the three week diet. All right, it makes us a good commission. It's got a good gravity. If I click select, what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and go to ClickBank and it is going to pull up the description for the product right here. I'm actually going to delete out this extra stuff, but you can leave that in there if you want. It'll pull the um, headline from the product. It'll pull the description of the product and put it right in your description. I'm going to put this under, let's see, under fitness, or I could put it under food. And then I'm going to go right down here and it's going to show me all the images. And I can choose any one of these images to use as my featured image for the product. Or if I prefer, I can actually upload my own featured image for it as well. Um, and so then all I'm going to do is publish that post. And I just added this ClickBank product to my marketplace. And when people click on it, they're going to go through and it's going to earn me commissions. And I'll show you the store in a minute, but let me add a few more products first. So let's go ahead and add another one. And we'll make that one featured as well. And for this one, I'm going to go under cooking food and wine. 
And let's go with guilt-free desserts. This one looks pretty good. So we're going to select that. And again, what's going to happen is it's going to go to ClickBank for me. It's going to pull up the description here. I'm, again, I'm going to make the description um, or the title of it a little bit simpler, a little bit shorter. But you can leave that in there if you like. It's going to put in the description for me. I'm going to put that under food in terms of my category. And then I'm going to go down and I like this one as the featured image for it. And I'm going to publish that. And I'm just going to repeat this process, and I can do this in every single niche. Okay, so now we'll add another new post. It's also important to know that because this is WordPress, you can add any kind of content you want. You don't have to just make ClickBank products here. If you want to add real articles and videos and all that other stuff, you can absolutely do that. Um, that's the great thing about this is you have all of the ability to add whatever you like to do. Let's see. Okay, let's look at get cash for surveys. That one looks pretty good. So we're going to add that one. And for this particular one, we're going to want to make this one, I guess, in the internet marketing category. So I've added a few more products. I'm actually going to go back in and add a few more categories just so you can really get a sense of how this works. So we're going to add, let's say, Forex and actually change food to recipes and then I think we'll also add I know there are some good woodworking um, products on Clickbank as well now again you can create one master store with tons of different things in it or if you prefer you can create a store that's centered around one main niche I'm just showing you how to create a master store, but the possibilities here are endless. So I would go in now and add products for all of these different categories. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Appearance Menus. And I am actually going to create a new menu. Um, and we want to create a menu with all the categories on there. So we're going to add it to our primary navigation. I want to remove the sample page. I don't really want that one in there. So I'm going to go uh, over here to Categories. And I'm actually going to select all of these and add them to my menu. So now I'm going to have all of these on my main menu. If I save this menu, when I go to my site, what's going to happen is I'm going to see all of these across the top. So my site is going to be perfectly laid out as a store that's broken down by categories. And again, if you want to add articles and videos, and other content you can you can use sub menus you can do whatever you want but I'm showing you the power of how this works so the last thing I want to configure for right now is I want to actually go over to my widgets because again this is a WordPress site so we can use the typical widget areas just the same way that we would we have four footer widget areas that go across the bottom and then we have our primary widget area which is either on the right or the left of our site so I'm going to go ahead and configure the primary widget area. I like the search bar at the top. Then I want to add some social media icons below that. And then recent post is pretty good. I'm going to actually get rid of recent comments. I think right above my recent post, I'm going to actually add an opt-in form. So that way I can build my subscriber list with this as well. So I want the social media widgets so that way I can get free viral traffic to the site. I want to add my opt-in form so that way I can get and build subscribers. The search bar is going to allow people to find the content they're looking for, which is going to have a chance to make me more money. I'd rather have the categories above the recent posts. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some more ClickBank banners to the bottom of the the uh, the footer sidebars here the footer widget areas because I want to try to make even more commissions off of this site so I'm gonna actually put in four different banners of different Clickbank products and then I'm gonna show you exactly what this looks like when it's all done alright so basically we've just configured our entire site and if I come in here to take a look at it this is what it looks like so you can see it's super professional and it's got everything you want. You've got the header banner. You have all these different categories that are listed here with subcategories. 
Um, people can click on these and view the different products. We have our featured content, which is going to tell them a little bit about our store. We have our search bar, our social icons. We have our opt-in form. And then these are all of our featured products. Now, if visitors click on any of these um, buttons, they're going to go directly through to ClickBank and when they through your affiliate link. And when they click to purchase the product, you get paid affiliate commissions. In addition to that, we've got our recent posts and our categories over here, and all of our normal posts are listed down here. All right, so we have our featured and our normal posts, and then here are our footer banners, which again, if someone clicks on any of these and goes through to ClickBank and buys, they're going through my affiliate link, they're gonna buy and make me commissions. So that's how powerful and how super simple WP Click Store is, and this is just scratching the surface. There are so many other advanced features that you can use, so many more ways to customize it, but I wanted to show you the power and simplicity of how you can do this with absolutely no marketing experience or technical skill and create your own store in just minutes.